I am so excited for today. On Aaron's Take Today, we actually have the founders, owners, creatives here in studio. I'm excited to introduce you to Kobe and Tasha of Kobe Co. They have these lovely smelling um, candles that not only smell good, but they do good, they feel good, they sound good. Yeah, just can't wait for them to explain how awesome they sound. They are here today to share with us their products, and I'm going to have Kobe, our founder, uh, creator, talk us through some of these incredible products we have sitting on the table here. So these are our nine ounce, 100% soy, environmentally friendly candles, um, luxury fragranced. Um, so oh, they smell like, like it's cute. incredible. So this one burning right now is the same yeah. one I have in my that hand. That one burning here, this is Purple Rain, one Which, of our number one Which look at, look at Tasha's yes. shirt. She's represented by represent. local prints. Yes, yes, that's us. And it truly is yeah. like, Amazing. Thank you. We are Prince lovers, so we definitely wanted to incorporate and do something along the lines of Prince. And so I also love crystals, obviously, so I incorporate yes. a lot of crystals within my stuff. Mm -hmm. And so Amethyst Crystals um, is what we chose for this one, because purple, purple rain, obviously. It's perfect. Purple. And perfect. of course, the playlist has tons of prints. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yes, of course, mentioning the playlist, we have these QR codes on the, black, on the back of our nine ounce candles that you can scan on the Spotify app and get access to a curated playlist. Each scent has their own curated to their theme and scent. So. That and this is the Lizzo one, right? Yep. Yes. Feeling good as hell. Yes. Okay. I am. I cannot wait. I just <laughs> want to take them home and like have the vibe in every single room of my house Absolutely. and just play the Spotify yes. list. This Absolutely. is amazing. And so you also have some room sprays here and yes. these are wax melts so that you can put them in like a candle. Diff uh, yeah, something Correct. like that. Yep. The wax melts basically burn in the candle without the flame. And they all smell so delightful. This one is chillaxin, mm -hmm. which we sprayed earlier. This was your original scent, right? Yes. Chillaxin. One of our original five scents that we first came out with. My baby, my personal favorite. Yes. So I want you to tell us, right? So these are incredible candles. I am a candle enthusiast. I absolutely love them. And I think this is absolutely my favorite to date from just the aesthetic to the smell, to the vibe, to the way it makes you feel, to the incredible story of the founders. I would love for you to tell us the story. You know, I know that these, I said that these candles more than just smell good and look good, but they also do good. So why don't you share the story with how you got started um, creating these candles and all the incredible things that you guys are doing as a part of um, Kobe Co. Yeah, of course. So um, I originally started out wanting to pay for an HBCU college tour that I had been attending annually. Um, and Will you say what, just in case people don't know what HBC is? Oh, HBCU stands for Historically Black, Black College and University. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So I love the HBCU college tour. It not only brought me together with people from my community, but like I was seeing schools filled with people that looked like me, my people, like, and it was the culture, like experiencing it all was beautiful. And I knew that I wanted to attend this again and experience this all over again. And um, so I wanted to help raise, help my parents raise money for this. Just my, my mom had recently uh, left corporate America and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chuck the deuces. I, yeah, Chuck the deuces, seriously. And so I wanted to be able to help provide money for this college tour. And I didn't, I had recently got out of working fast food and all that, and I didn't want to do that again, just because mm -hmm. it just wasn't for me, I felt like. Well, and this was like also right before COVID hit yes, too, right? Yes, so this, this was like a whole bunch of things were happening all right, at the same time. Right, yeah. all at the same time. And so when we first had our um, first pop-up, that was a father-daughter event that I had attended with my, my stepfather. And the amount of support and love that we had received was so like, immense it was huge and then the covid hit and the hbcu college tour got canceled mm -hmm. um and just a lot of things went awry that we never expected but kobe co was still something it was still there and and, and, and it grew by word of mouth yeah and, and we uh, received an invitation to booth share with uh shout out to latunji's palette which is an, an amazing bakery black owned woman owned in minneapolis she okay. had a booth at uh minneapolis farmers market and invited us to come down and we spent the season down there building relationships uh creating brand exposure for our product and started noticing a lot of repeat business and it just took off like wildfire 
Literally, yeah. like fire. Yeah, <laughs> literally. There you go. Yeah, so now yeah. we're in all eight patina stores. Electric Fetus. Electric Fetus was our first like uh, retail space, and that was like full circle for us because one, we love prints, and two, I used to go to a, a little Catholic school that's right behind it, and uh, called St. Stephen's. And when we did really well, we were allowed to walk to uh, Electric Fetus, and so that was always one of my happy places. Mm -hmm. I uh, took Kobe and uh, my son when they were small and so it uh, ultimately became yeah. one of their happy yeah, places. Yeah, I would get so excited to, she would let me pick out all the incense scents mm -hmm. and look through the records and stuff like that. So. It's a cool store. It's yeah. one of our really local gems here in Minneapolis and yeah. it's just been around Prince forever. used to shop there and play there. Yes, yeah. yes he did, yes, yes. he did. Yeah. So tell me about now that now that Kobe Co is in all these stores and it's growing like crazy and you guys are just kicking ass with the with the scents in the candle game and truly they are, like smell amazing. Like I, I wish there was a way. Smell you know, vision. Smell vision. <laughs> I know it needs way. to be. It needs to be a thing. Right. It has to be a right. thing. Um, but you guys are doing a lot. You know, it's not just about going on a college tour for you anymore. You guys are doing a lot to support um, BIPOC scholarships and yes. all that kind of stuff. So yes. Why don't you guys tell us a little bit about that too? Yes. So once um, the HBCU college tour was out of the picture we wanted to still continue this somehow and so our message became helping me with my um journey to going to college so paying for my college fund and then um i around school time so not only was i focusing on the business during quarantine but i was also attending high school my last uh semester of junior year and my entire senior year i was all online and at home and out of routine and my, my room became my lunchroom, my classroom, my relaxed room, barely. And it just became so overwhelming. And um, I really needed uh, my outlets, which was music, which was burning candles, which was self-care. All of that was what I used to basically rub myself out of this funk that I was in. And I wanted to be able to in, uh, share that and incorporate that within my business. So. So now we started a scholarship yeah. to not only help Kobe when she returns to school from her mm -hmm. uh, gap year, um, but to help other young BIPOC women with um, their educational aspirations. And then our Black Lives Matter candle, we donate a portion of the proceeds from the sale of that candle to local families here that have been uh, impacted by police or gun violence. And unfortunately, we've had to donate to way too many families um, mm -hmm. as a result. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, I think I love that you guys are giving back on on both ends, right? People who have already been people who have been hurt, and people who are aspiring to go to college, do make change, and making sure that people have, uh, you know, reducing access barriers, especially for BIPOC folks. And I just right. the right. candles are incredible. Obviously, the co-founders are incredible. I'm obsessed with their whole aesthetic, like everything from your brand to your outfits to your print shirts, your tennis <laughs> shoes. Like I love all of it. Um, and I couldn't be more proud to support um, Kobe. Thank and you. I'm really excited for everyone to get a chance. Go and get your candles now. They're going to talk about, put them on the bottom of the screen. The room sprays are amazing. I feel like I'm going to smell delightful all day. <laughs> and it's like got an oil in it. My hands feel really soft all of a sudden because I just sprayed it on them. So seriously, I'm so grateful that you guys were able to come in and share this with us today. And I wish you the best of luck. And you have a huge supporter in me. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks for You're having welcome. us.